You've just bought a house and it's an absolute dump. What's the first thing that you work on? The kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom? Yeah, probably. Instead, we're working on a workshop. Yes, there's plenty of other things that we want to be working on in the house, but with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, we want to tackle a job that's pretty easy that both Bree and I can do and it's going to give a nice little improvement to this area down here. So this is going to be the workshop and in a way it's great to work on this first because it'll give us a space to work in when we're doing the future project so we have a nice organized space. So what we're going to do is paint the walls white with a grey accent and we're going for that sort of modern industrial type look. Um, so it should be pretty good. First of all, we're going to move all this crap out of the way and then we'll go from there. All right, so now with all that stuff out of the way, what we're going to do now is give the whole place a good uh, vacuum down and a wipe down and I'm gonna whip out my friend Jimmy Barnes, he's coming to help me today. And um, we're gonna clean up all of the mortar on the bricks. All right, so it's day two now. Next up, we are going to use this. This is Boncrete, and we're going to use this with four parts water and that's going to help to seal the bricks from the outside as these are external walls. Um, down in the back you can see just the ground line. We're not sure what's going to happen there if water is still going to seep through with the Boncrete. It's not a complete waterproof seal but we'll just see how it goes. And then after that we'll be using a primer and then we'll get on to the paint itself. is basically just like wood glue. So you wanna be using old rollers for this. As you'll see later on, the concrete wasn't enough to stop the seepage on the bricks from the ground line. So we swapped to using a brushable waterproofer afterwards. So if you're at this stage, I'd recommend using the waterproofer as well as the concrete on those areas where there is ground behind the bricks. on here is the same gray as what we're going to be putting on the walls as well and when it was all done on the beams it was our first real chance to look at what the gray actually looked like but seeing it on the steel itself gave us a really good idea of what was to come and at that point we knew that the theme that we had thought of was going to work really well after that, it's time to paint the bricks. And then first up was the white primer. And this itself is a very important step to make sure that the following coats of paint go on really easily and it's all ready to go. No, no, no. So now that we're painting, we started with the traditional method of cutting in and then rolling. We quickly realized that A, this would take forever and B, the bricks that we're working with aren't face bricks so the mortar isn't uniform and it ends up being very difficult to paint long story short. We then decided to start rolling first before cutting in and then we would come back afterwards and fill in all the gaps that we'd missed. By doing so we would start with a very thick base layer of paint and that would give us a really good surface to work from and because the bricks are very porous they soaked up a lot of the paint itself. In the end, for the primer itself, we used about eight liters over about 30 square meters. As you can see, I'm filling in all the gaps behind my dad who was doing the rolling. And at first I was using just a normal brush to do this, but then I swapped to a small, about a one inch art brush. And that meant I could really load up the brush and get it right into those deep cracks. And by getting this right the first time around, it was way easier to put on the subsequent 
coats of both white and gray. So if you're going to be working with bricks, especially bricks that aren't face bricks, nice and uniform bricks, I would recommend getting more paint than what you'd probably think and really putting it on thick to start with. Again, we weren't too worried about if there was gonna be drips and that sort of thing. It's, it's not gonna be a room that we go in frequently and are too worried about the overall looks per se. You can also see how quickly Brie gets through the gray on these bricks here as they are face bricks and much easier to paint. It gives you a good comparison between what face bricks would be like to paint and these bricks. At this point, seeing what we'd done, we decided to use some no more gaps in areas that we knew would be a problem. In these particular bricks, we could have gone through 10 tubes of this stuff and still had more gaps to fill. So we just focused on the ones that would cause us the most issues. And whilst it may seem obvious now, if you're doing something like this, where you've got really bad bricks to work with that aren't face bricks, just go out and buy a paint spray. Like you can pick them up from a hardware store for around 50 bucks and it would do the job for something like this. Once there was two coats of the primer on the walls, we did just one coat of the final white paint and then two coats of the gray paint. And here we use the same roll and backfill technique. As I said before, once we had painted around the ground line, we could see the seepage still coming through the bricks themselves. So then we decided to use some brushable waterproofer and this one in particular is from Ormanoid. And this stuff is super easy to use. It's actually water-based itself, so it doesn't stink terribly. And you just slap it on basically as thick as you can get it just to really stop that water from coming through. And it's meant for areas that are permanently immersed. So nothing's coming through there. say we are really stoked with how this turned out it has completely transformed the space and i'm really excited to continue working down here this was the first real diy project for us we learned a lot and our hard work certainly paid off if you have any tips for painting brick or workshop walls leave them in the comments below also make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our projects and i'll see you next time